Town of Berwick wants you to be informed. The following is a public service announcement using information from the National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. COVID-19 or coronavirus symptoms may range from mild to severe illness. Symptoms typically appear two to 14 days after exposure with a fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Call your doctor if you develop these symptoms and have been in close contact with persons known to have COVID-19, or if you recently traveled from an area with widespread or ongoing community spread of COVID-19. Things you can do now to prepare, creating a household plan of action. Talk with people who need to be included in your plan. Meet with relatives, friends, and household members to discuss what to do if COVID-19 outbreak occurs in your community. Go over the needs of each person. Plan ways to care for those who might be at greater risk for serious complications. It is possible that older adults and persons who have underlying chronic medical conditions may be at greater risk for serious complications. If you or a household member is at greater risk, please consult with your health care provider for more information about monitoring your health for symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. Get to know your neighbors. Talk with neighbors about emergency planning. Identify aid organizations in your community. Create a list of local organizations that you and your household can contact in the event you need access to information, healthcare services, support, and or resources. Consider organizations that provide mental health or counseling services, food, and other supplies. Create an emergency contact list. This should include family, friends, neighbors, carpool drivers, healthcare providers, teachers, employers, the local public health department, and other community resources. Practice good personal health habits and plan for home-based actions. Remind everyone in the house of the importance of everyday preventive actions. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Stay home when you are sick, except to get medical care. Call your health care provider first. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue. Throw that away after use. Clean, frequently touched surfaces and objects daily. These can include tables, countertops, light switches, doorknobs, and cabinet handles. Use regular household detergent and water. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not available, use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Be prepared if your child's school or child care facility is temporarily dismissed. Learn about the emergency operation plans at your school or child care facility. Understand the plan for continuing education and social services, such as a student meal program. If they attend college or university, encourage them to learn about the school's plan for COVID-19. Plan for potential changes at your workplace. Learn about your employer's emergency plan. Discuss sick leave policies and telework options for workers who are sick or who need to stay home to care for a sick household member. During an outbreak in your community, protect yourself and others by staying home from work school, and all activities when you are sick with COVID-19 symptoms, which may include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Keep away from others who are sick and limit close contact with others as much as possible. Keep six feet distance. Continue practicing everyday preventive actions. Cover cough, sneezes with a tissue. Wash hands often with soap and water for 20 seconds and clean frequently touched surfaces. If possible, use a separate room and bathroom for sick household members. Avoid sharing person's items like food and drink. Provide sick members with clean disposable face masks to wear at home, if available. 
Clean the sick room and bathroom as needed to avoid unnecessary contact with the sick person. Stay in touch with others by phone or email. If you live alone and become sick during a COVID-19 outbreak, you may need help. If you have a chronic medical condition and live alone, ask family, friends, and healthcare providers to check on you during an outbreak. Stay in touch with family and friends with chronic medical conditions. Take care of the emotional health of your household members. Outbreaks can be stressful for adults and children. Talk with your children about the outbreak. Try to stay calm and reassure them that they are safe. Inform your workplace if you need to change your regular work schedule. Notify your workplace as soon as possible if your schedule changes. Ask to work from home or take leave if you or someone in your household gets sick with COVID-19. If your child's school is dismissed temporarily, you may have to work from home. Take the following steps to help protect your children during an outbreak. If your child or children become sick with COVID-19, notify their child care facility and or school. Talk with teachers about classroom assignments and activities they can do from home to keep up with the schoolwork. Keep track of school dismissals in your community. Read or watch local media sources that report school dismissals. If schools are dismissed, use alternative child care arrangements. Discourage children and teens from gathering in other public places while school is dismissed. This will help slow the spread of COVID-19 in your community.